Hi everyone, in this video, I'll be showing how to download processing and write our first processing program. Also talk about the coordinate system. Go to processing.org and click on download. We are going to use version 3.5.4. So download that for Mac or Windows or whatever operating system you have. I've already downloaded the zip before, so I'm just going to use that. Open that zip. And it will create a processing.app file that you can move to your applications folder. Now, once you have it in your applications folder, here I have processing.app. Double click on it. And it will create a blank processing program. When you run a blank processing program, it runs an applet containing a hundred pixels wide and hundred pixels high display window. The next thing we will see is processing's coordinate system. So again, on processing's website, click on learn tutorials and in text tutorials these are the four that we would like to have getting started processing overview coordinate system and color processing's coordinate system so first it shows how lines are drawn or coordinates work in a two dimensional coordinate system in a standard two dimensional coordinate system so when you have four quadrants, zero comma zero is the origin. Then you have a line, one comma zero comma four comma five means line from one comma zero to four comma five. In processing, it's flipped around the X axis, which means the origin zero comma zero is on the top left. Now, 0, 0, is an entire cell, which means this cell over here, this entire cell is 0, 0. Then the cell to its right is 1, 0. Then the next cell is 2, 0, and so on. Similarly, from 0, 0, when you go down, that's 0, 0,1, 0, 0,2, 0, 0,3, and so on. So if I have a particular cell, let's say this one, its address is x is 4 and y is 3. So that's the cell 4, 3. So if I say I want to draw a line from 4, 3 to 2, 6, 2, 6, x is 2. So that's all of these. And uh, 6 is at the bottom. So let's say 5, 2, 5. 2, 5, 5 is here, which means 4, 3 to 2, 5 will be a line that joins this. So it will also have this pixel eliminated. So that's the math in terms of processing. Let's go back and take a look at some simple shapes. So the four basic shapes that we're interested in are point, line, rectangle, ellipse. In the lecture, I give some examples about squares today. In this video, I'll give some examples just using lines. Here, if I say line 0, 0 to 100, 100, 0, 0, as I said, is the top left corner, and 100, 100 is the bottom right corner. So I'll see a line that goes from top left to bottom right. I can also draw a line from 100, 0 to 0, 100. 100 comma 0 is the top right corner and 0 comma 100 is the bottom left corner. Why? See, 
because 100 comma 0 is 100 x and 0 y and 0 100 is 0 x and 100 y which is here. So it will draw a cross for you. If you don't put the semicolon, processing will complain, missing semicolon. If you put too fewer values for line, processing will complain that it expects four numbers or four numerical values. If you put too many values, again, it will complain that it needs exactly four values. So if I run it with four values, that's fine. But if you add a fourth text value, again, it complains that all four values must be numerical. So those are lines. Then I can draw a circle on top of that. And I can draw a circle at 50, 50. The circle command has the center x comma y followed by the diameter. So let's say the diameter is 40. And I run this. So it draws a circle of diameter 40 around the x comma y value 50 comma 50. You can change the size of the screen as well. And if I say size 300 by 200, my program will distort because it was originally written with 100 by 100 display window in mind. But now the display window is of size 300 pixels wide and 200 pixels high. Size has two parameters. But that's okay. My bottom right coordinate is 300, 200. My top right coordinate is 300, 0. And my bottom right coordinate is 0, 200. Because the display window is 300, 200. If the display window is 300, 200, let's get rid of the circle command. Where is the intersection located? Because if the entire width is 300, half of 300 is 150. And if the entire height is 200, half the height is 100. So the center of this display window is at 150, 100. And let's say the cent circle's diameter is 80. You will notice that enclosed shapes are filled with white color. You can change that by using a fill statement before drawing the shape. And it has red, green, blue component, but more about that next week. You can directly select a color from tools, color selector. And let's say I like this color, kind of brick color. I paste it and run. So once more, what did I do? Go to tools, color selector, choose whatever color you like. And once you're there, just click on copy. And inside the fill statement, go there and paste using control V or command V. And that's your shape. You can also change the entire background once you have declared the size using the same way. So whatever color you want to have, tools, color selector, choose the color, copy, the hexadecimal code and paste it. Run the program and that's your output. What would happen if you put the background at the very end? Because the shapes are drawn in the sequence, the statements are, it drew the lines and the circle, but then it erased the background. So you will see a blank sketch because everything that was drawn, we've drawn over it. So let's keep the background back where it belongs. I would like to add maybe a line horizontally above the circle and a line horizontally below the circle. So let me just annotate, show what I would like. So a line that goes here and a line that goes here. We know that the center point is 150, 100. And because the diameter is 80, we know this is. 40 pixels above y equals 100, and this is 40 pixels below y equals 100. 
So 100 plus minus 40. Using this, we can determine that the lines will go from x equals zero, y equals 100 minus 40, which is 60, all the way to x equals 300, and again, y equals 60. That's the line above the circle. And then for the line at the bottom of the circle, 0, 140, where did this 140 come from? Because the circle's y coordinate is 100, and its diameter is 80, which means its radius is 40, which means the bottom bit is 40 pixels below 100, which is 140, all the way to 300. 140. And that draws two lines around the circle. So if you work out the numbers, things get much more enjoyable. Hopefully this video was a little better paced than the lecture and hope you benefited from that. Also, I'm going to make an announcement with these four articles on processing, which you'll find very hope, uh, helpful, I hope. Thank you and see you next week.